But we were, uh, we were playing, so I just scored on the other team, and instead of being talked to there, it's like, oh, good shot, good shot. Like, I haven't met anybody talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, be sure that you've gotten your test out of the tray. Your test from Friday, you need to have it in front of you. Um, you need your journals and your data folder from the, um, the bookshelf. If you're missing any of those things, go get them. In case you've forgotten, Star Life Cycle Project that I gave you guys probably three, four weeks ago, um, that is due Wednesday this week. Um, now, I may not have you in class that day. We're going to look at the schedule here in a moment. Um, and if I don't, you can bring it to me before school, after school, passing period, whatever. Just be sure that you get it to me on Wednesday. Now, that's if it's a physical product. I think there were some choices that you probably could upload digitally. And if that's the case, that's fine. Just get those uploaded to Schoology by that due date. Um, we are going to do data today over our test. Um, but we're going to do it a little differently simply because I've got some things I need to introduce to you today. Um, today, I think, is the only day this week that you guys are going to run a normal schedule. Mm -hmm. um, every other day this week, things are going to be a little bit off, and I won't see you every day after today. So I want to be sure that I set the foundation today so that you know what to, um, to look forward to the rest of the week. So I guess let's actually start with, uh, with that, and then we'll circle back to the data for the test on, um, that you took on Friday. So if you'll look with me in Schoology, and I'm logged out again. I absolutely despise this. Okay, give me a minute. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Hang on. I'm just a failure of life. There we go. Okay, pin. All right, here we are. We're in Schoology. So if I go down to the Bitmoji classroom for this week, um, it's going to show you your schedule. I don't yet have classroom assignments. I'm hoping to get that today. I was, I was hoping to have it before class today because I wanted you guys to organize your... Um, your brain dumps into you know, like what testing group you'd be in, but I don't have it yet. Happy Monday, teachers and students. Students, if you are returning from being online, um, please make sure that you have your laptop with you and that you have access to Zoom. Um, you can also check your email to see if you have any questions. All right, so tomorrow, y'all are going to have your English benchmark and it will be in the morning. You will go to regular classes after lunch. Wednesday, I will see you. It'll be morning classes as normal. After lunch, you will have your math benchmark. Thursday morning, you'll have your science benchmark. Um, and then after lunch, it'll be normal classes. I will see you guys on Friday. And Friday after lunch, you'll have your history benchmark. Does that kind of make sense to everyone? And you have this. It's going to be in the Bitmoji classroom all week. So if you forget on any given day, you can come back to this to look. Um, so today we are doing test corrections and data. Um, after that, we're going to start what, what I'm calling the weather project. We're going to click on that link here in just a second and walk you through it. But do y'all see all the other links down below where it says seasons, library, weather lesson, weather C notes, hurricane C notes, weather symbols? Okay. So if we had not lost that week to Snowmageddon, we would have done kind of our normal routine with that material, but we just, we don't have time to do it. So what I've done is I've given you all that material directly so that while you're doing your weather project, if you need to reference it for help, you can. Um, so I'm going to click on where it says weather project and it's going to pull up your directions. So this is going to start in class today. Um, you're going to work in groups of two to four and you have to research what weather systems led up to what we experienced as Snowmageddon. I want you to 
to research specifically February 12th through 19th of this year, okay? Um, after you understand what weather patterns created what we experienced, you're then going to make a seven day weather forecast, which is what this is right here, okay? And then you're gonna make a weather map, which is what this is right here, okay? So you've got to be able to interpret what you find out and create a seven day forecast and a map. I've given you links to weather station symbols, links to Cornell Notes Over Weather, and some links to um, weather information. Now, you can use more materials than that. You can look stuff up on your own. I just wanted to provide you with something. I then tell you what I want on the US map, what I want on the seven day forecast. There's a rubric here um, for kind of, you know, how you're gonna be graded. Um, I give you a place to rough draft your seven day forecast. I give you a place to rough draft your map. Now, this is not what you're going to turn in. You're gonna need to make an actual poster. Um, this is just where you're brainstorming before you make those posters, okay? Um, once you're done and I sign off that your posters are correct, I'm gonna take a picture of your group in front of the green screen and a picture of your posters and I'm gonna use my green screen app and I'm gonna overlay y'all in front of your seven day forecast and your weather map just like you were a weather man, okay? Sure. Or woman for that matter. Sure. Um, there's a couple of question and answers here at the end, but this is what you're going to be working on in here all week. Um, your last day with me is Friday, so you guys will technically have until Friday to get this done. Some classes won't. If their last day with me is Thursday, then they have until Thursday to get it done. Does everybody kind of have a basic understanding of what I'm asking for there? Yes? Okay. So let's switch gears and let's look now at our data for our test review. All right. So from the supply table, you should have grabbed one of those gridded packets. Um, Zane, would you bring me one? Thank you, sir. For the sake of time, because I do want you to have time to start doing your research today on your weather project, I'm not going to lead you question by question. A lot of this is review. There's just some new stuff. And y'all did well on this. 100% of you passed, and the class average was almost a 95. Um, so I feel like y'all really kicked, like knocked this one out of the park. You won. Absolutely, you won. Um, so on your, your test packet, be sure, you should have already put your goal grade. Yesterday, I should have texted you or told you your actual grade. Um, if you don't know that yet, you can wait until you're done, um, and you'll be, able, you'll be able to calculate that actual grade. So what I want you guys to do, you're going to go through question by question. On your grid, you already have the teaks, and I'm providing you right now with the answers. I want you to go question by question. Number one, you'll write the teak number. If you got it right, don't do anything. All the way down. And remember, as you're doing this, guys, you're checking and Xing those teaks. We still need to not skip that piece in the data folder, okay? Because we're getting closer and closer to the star test, and we really need a clear picture of what you have and have not mastered as we approach that. So I still want you to do that, but today it's going to be self-led and self-paced. When you're done with all of that, I've given you here on my paper the math to figure out your actual grade. The number missed, they're three points each. That gives you some amount. 100 minus that amount gives you your actual grade. Once you have that done in your data folder, you will graph your goal grade and your actual grade. It needs to be labeled unit five. Once that is complete, Find whoever you want to work with on your weather seven day forecast and weather map, and y'all start researching the, the phenomenon, the weather phenomenons behind what we experienced um, over our, our snow week. Everybody understand your directions for today? Any questions? All right, y'all get to it. So at home learners, I'll go here where you can see this key. And if you need to pause the video to get a clearer view, you may do that as well. But you're going to do the exact same thing at home that I just explained to my kids in the room. Now, sadly, because you're an at-home learner, there's really no 
way for you to work on the weather project in groups. So you will be individually responsible um, for your weather project. And you'll just need to upload your final seven day forecast and weather map to Schoology. I won't be able to get a photo of you in front of the green screen because you're just not physically in the room, but I will, that, that won't hurt your grade at all. I'll grade your um, seven day forecast and weather map just as I would anyone else.